Hey guys, what's up? Ashley here, and it's day number 80 of giggling. <laughs> we could have made it around the world <laughs> in 80 days, but instead we're here. <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of Confessions of a Giggler. And that's me, I'm the giggler, <laughs> clearly. Um, So, <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> so today... It's Friday, March 24th. Um, I didn't have anything to talk about today. <laughs> per usual. I can't believe it's only March and I'm really, I'm really struggling here. <laughs> um, but, so I went to, to my, I went on my, um, you know, handy dandy tablet, Samsung Galaxy tab s6 i believe is the one i have um so i went on there and i went to google and i said random idea generator or random topic generator or something so i typed that in and a whole bunch of stuff came up and i clicked on the first one and um it basically looks like this <laughs> random random topic generator whatever so this is what we're going to talk about. <laughs> Why not? Um, so this one says, what's your favorite way to decompress from a long day at work? This is very important. Uh, very um, not important. That wasn't the word I was going to say. Relevant. Relevant is the word I needed. <laughs> this is a very... Uh, um, it's needed for today. It has been, I don't really like to talk about work too much on here. Um, but the last two days have just made my head want to explode. Yes. Just, I like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so needing to decompress after this disaster of a week is <laughs> very much needed <laughs> um so my favorite ways to decompress from work so I guess like after just after just a regular day like a, a long day um nothing not like a like that I'm just home <laughs> um what I like to do is watch TV. <laughs> um, yes. So I need, I, I like to, if I'm like, hmm. <laughs> if I like really need to decompress, like really, really need to, um, I like to get a TV show that I need to pay attention to because then I put my phone down. I don't do anything else. I just watch the show and that's it. And I can like escape into that world and it's fantastic. Um, some days that are less hectic that I still need to decompress from, but are not as terrible. Um, I like to watch shows like trash reality TV <laughs> that like you kind of watch, but also um, you could kind of still like do things and talk and like, you, you know, whatever you're doing on your phone at the time, <laughs> conversing with others or, or looking stuff up on Google or Facebook or falling a uh, victim to TikTok. I mean, you know, whatever, any of those things, um, just kind of like not focus on something. So I guess this is also, I'm, Sometimes if it's a bad day, I also need to just not focus and do a million things at once <laughs> and not focus on any of them and have no idea what I just did and just like mindlessly swipe. That's also great. Um, but for real, like my real, real decompression is going to Disney World. <laughs> like that is, that is the place that I go. I mean, and like obviously... Yes, I go a lot, but I don't go every day. I can't go every day. I'm in Delaware. I wish I like <laughs> wish I could go every day. Teleportation, please exist. I mean, like who's going to invent that? Let's go. <laughs> We're waiting. <laughs> um, so, 
<laughs> yeah, but like um, Disney World or a concert, and like I can't just go to either one of those. They have to be like scheduled and planned and whatever. But those are the two things that really, like, really, really help. Um, yeah, because. <laughs> I can go there, I can go to Disney World, and everything is just magical, and I can forget about all of my problems, I can just leave them, leave them at the gate, you know, as soon as I walk onto that little bus, my problems stay behind, <laughs> I leave them, or even before that, I really, I leave them at the Philadelphia airport, <laughs> and then I pick them back up when I get home. <laughs> Um, yeah, just everything to me, it's just, it's just so magical being there and it makes me so happy. Like just thinking about how happy it makes me, makes me want to cry tears of happiness. <laughs> and, like I keep thinking about like everything. I know that I was just there and like a month ago that's it but I I'm feeling like oh god I haven't been there in so long <laughs> like I'm thinking about all the great things that I want to do and how happy it's gonna make me uh Tron is stressing me out a lot and I don't even know if I want to attempt it at all on this next trip because I don't want my birthday to be ruined um which it already is let's be honest um uh sorry my lips are chapped by the way this is my favorite chapstick. Um, let me block my face. There we go. <laughs> Blistex medicated. It's the best one. Uh, anyway, so yeah, going to Disney World. Um, yeah, it's just like, it just makes me so happy. I wish it wasn't so expensive. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like, I... <laughs> Ugh, I'm such a, I'm such a mush. Like, I cannot wait. <laughs> I can't wait for the day that, like, I have, like, that I'm in a relationship and I can bring a boyfriend with me to Disney World and just, like, share all the magical things that I think, like, all the things that I find to be so magical about it with him and, like... Ugh. It's a dream. And I know this is supposed to be a what, what makes you decompress from work is Disney World, but, like, then I think about all my dreams. <laughs> so I get off topic very easily. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> okay, so besides Disney World and TV, we already said TV. So, um, because I really do love TV. Um, let me wipe my tears. Um, sometimes when I do really need to, like, also another thing that helps me zone out and not pay attention to the, the world, I guess. <laughs> I don't do it a lot, um, but I do enjoy coloring. Um, so I have some, I have some coloring books. I have a whole bunch of colored pencils and markers and all the things. And I really love coloring. Um, but it does help me focus on like not paying attention to anything in the outside world and like not thinking about anything else besides what I'm doing because <laughs> I take my coloring very seriously but then my hand starts to hurt so I can't do it for too long <laughs> um that's why I don't do it that much uh but like it's a really good way because I like, if I'm coloring, I don't even, like, focus on the TV because I have to focus on my coloring. Uh, so, and I don't, like, look at my phone at all. Um, so that's actually a really good thing. Like, if I, <laughs> when I was, like, sp well, I do, I spiral sometimes. <laughs> and... Like, if I'm, I like, okay, I'm an overthinker. And sometimes if I send a text to someone and they're not responding to me, and like, I just keep looking at my phone and looking at my phone and looking at my phone and hoping that someone will respond and no one responds. And then I like start to like panic in my head and I'm like, oh my gosh, what the heck? And I'm like, let me look at my phone again. Oh my gosh, how come there's only been uh, one minute? How, where, where are they? 
So if I'm coloring, <laughs> I put the phone away, <laughs> don't look at it, and a lot of time can pass without me thinking about the phone. I really hope that someone else can relate to that and I'm just and I'm not over here like a crazy person pulling my hair out. <laughs> like I said guys, it has been a rough few days for me and I yelled at my mom a lot and I'm very sorry to her. I really truly am because I, I'm not mad at my mom. I love my mom. And it's like when you're upset about other things, you just take it out on people that you love or are closest to you. So she gets the brunt of it always. And I, <laughs> I feel really bad and I love you, mama. Um, so yeah, it's been a rough, it's been, a, it's been a rough. <laughs> uh, so yeah. I wish I had like I. I mean I. I, I get I. It's eleven. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Why do you guys watch this? I, I'm a disaster. I like I. I feel like I'm so much more of a disaster like this this uh go around than I was in 21. Like I feel like I. I feel like I had it more together then. Now I'm just like. Bah! <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> All right, guys. I hope everyone has a great weekend. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Love you.